Once in a blue moon, Minneapolis, Minnesota. With my book and my pen and behind the counter, a girl with blue hair serves the java and Ani DeFranco provides the backdrop of yet another alternative coffee shop. Just like the one I worked at way back when. And we had her first album then, the one with both hands. Now use both hands, now don't close your eyes. I'm writing graffiti on your body. I'm drawing the story. I find myself tight inside, a seatbelt of anxiety across my chest. It's this perpetual drive to be the best, but what can I say? It's been an insecure day. I'm feeling unsure of my edges. I'm feeling unsure what my own edge is. I'm feeling blunt and dull, more of a spoon than a knife, more nap than nightlife. And what kind of artist wants to be a ladle what kind of artist wants to be asleep at the table? Not me, of course. I want to be the one chopping the silence with my words, chopping convention with my axe. I don't sleep that well these days. I never seem to relax. We're all trying so hard, me and my friends, for these small pieces of pie, those minor dividends, our face in the paper, the end of being a waiter. The girl with the blue hair who is serving the coffee is talking to another girl with orange hair about Ani. Blue hair says, I love this album. Orange hair says, yes, I think it's her best one. Blue hair says, oh, have you heard Reveling Reckoning? Orange hair says, no. Blue hair says, oh, well, you should come over this weekend. I'll play it for you. Outside, the snow is falling on the eaves. Inside, I sip my fairly traded tea leaves while Blue hair and orange hair start talking about gender. Outside, two cars collide in a fender bender. The icy road's a slippery surprise, a reminder of how fast we can slide, collide. And it's funny, but it doesn't seem like that long since Ani arrived on the scene. But what is this, album number 17 or something? <laughs> I think I lost track. Sometime back in the late 90s, after I heard her siren call and I started writing my own songs and... Now look at us all, a movement of girls with our own guitars, crisscrossing the continent in our little cars, hoping not to be compared. And today maybe I'm just scared that the world doesn't need me or any of my friends and we'll all wind up working in a coffee shop again, listening to someone else's songs on the radio, instead of driving through the snow to yet another gig, hoping this will be our big break, hoping ours will be the once in a blue moon star to skyrocket to the top. You know, it's funny, but I've seen these two girls before somewhere with their chunky glasses and their funky hair and their bell hooks books. If I've seen them once, I've seen them a thousand times heard this same conversation that runs along these same lines. Blue hair holds forth about how she herself doesn't want to be filed on a shelf. Gender is fluid. She doesn't need to identify either way. Gender is just a construct. And being gay is so much more than being a woman or a man. And if Ani can get married, well, then anyone can surprise us. All that matters is what's inside us. Gender is fluid. They agree with authority. As though this is the first time these things have ever been said. As though they're concepts they've invented. Not something they recently read. Fluid. Like liquid. Like the tea that's in my cup. I look down and I think to myself, well, for God's sakes, drink up. This is the smell of gender brewing. This is identity you're consuming. The 98% water that flows inside me, my fluid, watery humanity. And I could tell blue hair lately, I've taken to crying into my cup. Just crying gently, just to watch the cup fill back up. Art giving no points for imitation, leaving no choice but reinvention. And yes, Ms. DeFranco, your innovation is an inspiration, but now your album's over, I can drink my tea with no further challenge to my own artistic identity. Thank God I never wanted to do the big band thing or I'd never have a peaceful cup of coffee again. A phone rings. It's mine. I take it out of my bag. You say, how are you, darling? I say, wrung out, 
like a wet rag. You say, oh, how did it go? How was the show? I say, I don't know some days why I persist in pursuing. Feels like all I'm doing is reheating, not brewing. You say, well, it's good to keep warm because it's starting to snow and here at home it's 29 degrees below. I say, I'm on my way. I'll be back soon. I'm just on my way now, out of once in a blue moon. <laughs>